All right, welcome. Solving this lead code problem, backspace string compare. So given two strings, S and T, return if they are equal when both are typed into empty text editors. Hashtag or number sign means a backspace character. So note that after backspacing an empty text, text will just continue empty. So for example, if we have a string with A, B, number sign C, uh, and T being A, D, number sign C, that's gonna be A, B, then we backspace, and then C. So that's gonna be AC, same here, AD, backspace, be A, then add C, and so on and so forth. If it's empty, like here, uh, this is a better one, A, number sign, number sign, it's gonna be A, we delete that, and next one, and next one we delete an empty string, so that's just empty string, and that ends up with C, same thing here, um, backspace A, delete that, and then that's an empty string, and then add C, so that's both C. So when I solved this, I thought about straightforward. I know that in Python, it's not a good idea to uh, be continually, continually generating new strings. So what I thought was, you can probably just create a list. Um, stack might be better, but for simplicity's sake, this is how I solved it. I just created two lists call them S out and T out. And first I iterated down for each character in S. I said if the character equals a uh, number sign, then we want to pop off the rightmost value of this list. So one thing we need to keep note here is if it's an empty list that's going to error out so we'll have to put an if statement just in case um, otherwise we'll append the value of character into the list and same thing for t character equals oops number sign uh, we'll have to say if t out then we'll t out pop else t out pen the character and all that remains at the end is now that we have our final output as a list if s out equals t out and python should know when the lists are the same will return true else will return false And let's give that a run. When I solved this, I thought it might be too easy uh, to be true. So, because this seems like the naive solution, but it did get accepted. So I thought, okay, well that's that was easy. But here was a follow-up here. Can you solve it in O of n time and O of one space? So that is a totally different beast. What I realized then was if we want to do this in O1 space, we'd have to um, somehow figure out what the strings itself and generating nothing, can't generate a stack, can't generate a list, can you tell if the end result would be the same? So from some thinking and, and researching, what I discovered is we could have some sort of two-pointer solution where uh, we start at the end of the string. We start at the end and we're going to iterate down to the first non-deleted character. And that algorithm is much more complicated uh, because what if you have double um, number signs? What if you, um, you know, jump over a string and then get out of the list index? So I'm gonna save that for another video because it's a lot harder to explain and it's even harder for me to understand. So um, we'll save that for next video. For now, this gets accepted and it's a perfectly fine solution. All right then.